So for 2.2, it says from the previous problem, we found, we found this, that the SX operator is h bar over 2, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0. And to find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix, it says to diagonalize it, which I don't really understand why they use that term. When I think of diagonalization, um, I think that, you know, that means that the um, non-zero terms need to be in the diagonal, and that's not really what they're asking to do. Um, but just as a recap, to find the uh, eigenvalues, we find the determinant of um, our, our matrix, so Sx minus um, lambda identity matrix. So the identity matrix for 2 by 2 would be 1, 0, 0, 1. Um, so negative lambda times identity matrix would be equal to um, negative lambda 0, 0, uh, negative lambda. Right. And then so if we were to add that to this matrix right here, um, we would get h bar over 2. Uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and put the h bar over 2 inside of the matrix at this point. I'm going to just multiply this out um, so that we don't lose them. So um, this will still be 0. This will be h bar over 2. This will be h bar over 2. And this will be 0. Um, and then so if we were to add, um, we could have subtracted with positive lambda, um, but whatever. We already uh, put the negative in there. So we'll do plus this here, negative negative lambda, 0, 0, negative lambda. If you add these two together, then you would get, um, I know this is kind of a, a refresher here, but in case it's been a while since we've done linear algebra, um, just going through each of these steps. So it's going to be h bar over 2. We'll have h bar over 2 here, and we'll have negative lambda here. All right, so that's kind of where we're starting off here. Um, and this is going to equal 0 in this step. And you just have to solve for, for lambda. So uh, I'm going to rewrite this over here. I'm going to have uh, negative lambda. This line represents the de determinant, h bar over 2, h bar over 2, and negative lambda equals 0. To take the determinant, we do um, this direction multiplied together minus this direction multiplied together. So we're going to have uh, negative lambda times negative lambda is going to be positive lambda squared. And then minus this direction. So we'll have uh, oops, minus um, h bar over 2 squared. We have two of them. Uh, that's going to equal 0. Okay, so that means our lambda squared is equal to h bar over 2 squared. And if we take the square root, then our lambda is equal to plus or minus h bar over 2, which we kind of already knew, but um, now we have that. So that, that's going to be, those are going to be our two eigenvalues, is positive h bar over 2 and negative h bar over 2. Um, so now to get the eigenvectors, we would need to use this operator. Um, so we have this operator, h bar over 2, 0, 1, 1, 0. And we're going to apply it to our um, uh, up in the x, which is 1, 1. And what we should get is our eigenvalue, which is going to be positive h bar over 2. and then this back. Um, so, oh, I did that wrong. Okay. We don't know where this vector is yet. <laughs> this is the vector we're trying to find. Um, if we apply this operator, we know that we're going to get this eigenvalue and the same vector back. So if we apply this operator to a vector, we're going to get our eigenvalue with the same vector back. Um, so what is that vector? That's what we're trying to find here. Um, so we'll go ahead and say that a times 0 is 0. Um, b times 1 times h bar over 2 is uh, 
h bar over 2. And it's going to equal. Uh, actually, you know, we don't need to worry about these h bars. Um, we just keep, keep them out. So uh, a times 0 is 0. b times 1 is b is equal to a. a times 1 is a. b times 0 is 0. And that's going to equal b. So we know that a and b are going to be the same. Um, so because we know that, um, we can also use the normalization um, equation to give us some more information. Because we know that for that, we know that a squared plus b squared has to equal 1 if it's normalized. So um, we already know what a and we already know that a and b are the same. So we can swap out either one. So let's say we'll keep a squared plus b squared is the same thing as a squared. So we'll say a squared equals 1, uh, which means we have 2 a squared equals 1, which means a squared a squared equals 1 half, and a can be 1 over root 2. We talked about this in 1.16, that I'm just choosing this to be 1 over root 2. This could be lots of things, because a can be complex. This could be i over, um, or this can be i over root 2, um, because you square that, you still get a half. You, this can be uh, 1 over root 2 e to the i x. Because you square that, you still get 1 half. It's going to be lots of different things. But I'm choosing for this to be uh, real and positive. Um, and we know that a and b are the same thing. So b is also going to be 1 over root 2. Um, and that is going to be uh, one of our eigenvectors. So one of our eigenvectors is going to be uh, 1 over root 2. Or we can just pull that out. 1 over root 2, 1, and 1, which is, we kind of already knew that. This, that's our um, x state. That's our up x state. Uh, so we kind of already knew that, but this is kind of just proving it with the, um, the eigenvalues. Now let's go ahead and do the negative case. So we know that another option here, if we apply this operator to this, we can get negative h bar over 2. Um, and I'll go ahead and put that negative inside here. We don't have to worry about um, our h bars here. So we know that um, a times 0 is a, um, and so we have b is equal to negative a, and we have a times 1 is a, b times 0 is 0, equals negative b. So this time they're inverse. So b is negative a, a is negative b, and same thing over here. So we know that a squared plus b squared is equal to 1 if it's normalized. Um, so we can pull one of these out. So let's just say we'll keep a squared. And b is equal to negative a. So um, uh, that's going to be equal to negative a squared equals 1. Um, and same thing. So this is going to be, that's the magnitude. So this is going to end up being um, 2a squared equals 1 a squared equals 1 half, and a equals 1 over root 2. Um, we can again choose this to be real and positive. Um, so the difference between this one and 1 1.16 is that we don't have to worry about other directions. We're only doing x. Um, so this wouldn't work for everything, but it, we're only worrying about the x direction right now. So this is going to work for us. So that's going to be our a, and if this is our a, then our b has to be negative 1 over root 2, because they're inverse of each other. Um, so that means that uh, the other eigenvector is going to be 1 over root 2, 1, negative 1. So, and I'll write this up here, our eigenvalues were plus or minus h bar over 2, and these are the two eigenvectors.